What is up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time and I'm back with another video. Today I have a case for the Samsung Galaxy S9. This is from MP Mall, got this on Amazon for about nine bucks or so. So this is you know, another off-brand case, just trying to bring you guys a bunch of variety of cases so that you can make the choice on yourselves. You know, from $8 up to 20 something dollars, whatever. So you guys can make those decisions based on what you see here, and then you can also do a little bit of your own research. So the Samsung Galaxy S9 is one gorgeous, gorgeous phone. It's a shame you have to put a case on it, but it does get scratched easily. I've had mine for about a week and change. I don't know if you can even see it there, but it has a nice size scratch going down right at the bottom. It goes across right here. I don't know how it got there. I baby this thing. I wipe it with a microfiber cloth all the time, but yet it's somehow still got a scratch on it. So it doesn't matter how well you treat it, this thing is going to get scratched. I don't know why. The glass maybe isn't the best. The coating that they have on it, who knows? But you got to treat this thing like a little baby infant. So anyways, let's get into this thing right here. This is the MP Mall black on black murdered out case. So inside you get attention, register for your lifetime warranty within 14 days. Your opinion matters. Get this out of here. You're invited to get a free desktop stand or a free $10 Amazon card if you give your opinion. Gives you all the information down there. So pretty much if you rate it on Amazon with a review, you'll get some kind of a you know prize for doing so. So that could be a little bit of a you know how how great are the reviews that are on here because people get that option to do that, but take it from what it is. Inside you have a textured design kind of gives you some kind of a distribution of the shock when it drops it's it, you know supposed to circulate the energy through all of these little shapes and sizes but who knows how well this one works it just really feels like just a little bit of a design over here you get your power button it says power on it in case you need to read it you get your volume plus volume minus and then your bigsby button this seems to be all one with like a small little notch cut in it see how well it works Got your headphone jack, USB type C, and your speaker and microphone cut out in one. And then you, this is all lower than the actual edged bumpers right there. So you get a little bit of extra protection. The top is all flush with your microphone cut out right there. You get the rest, fingerprint rest right there. So when you're going in, it kind of feels natural. And then you have your cutouts right there. This case has this little bit of branding right here. It actually looks, you know, pretty similar to a case that I just did. I won't, you know, say any names, but it looks almost identical to that case right there. And I'm assuming that's the real one and this is kind of like a knockoff. But let's see how well it works. Let's slap the case in here. Let me the phone in the case. I got my white stone dome screen protector and it seems to fit fine with this. No problems with that at all. Let's check the power button. Power button works good. And no problems there. Fingerprint sensor works good. Let's check the volume rockers. See if you can, see that's a problem though. If just feeling it on the side, you're not gonna really feel which one's which. You'd have to almost muscle memory it. So I'm not a big fan of that right there. That could be an issue. It just seems like as you're reaching, you're not really you know, feeling which one's which because there's no separation besides these little bit of a line. So I don't like that too much. Down here, all your cutouts are great. No problem there. You should be able to get any type of accessory, third party or factory in there, charging, headphone jack, no problem. Speakers well exposed, not covered by any plastic. Up on the top, your noise canceler mic right there, no issues there. Let's check the lip action. So you actually get a pretty decent lip right there on the top and on the bottom. The sides are exposed, so you should be able to get your edge panels out, no problem. They work perfectly. So everything else looks like it's good. Let's drop it down. Yeah, you don't hear any noise besides rubber because that means nothing else is touching so the lips are doing their job. That's good. So for $8.99 or whatever it is, this is actually a pretty solid case. I just don't like the volume rock is the way they're set up. So this right here, MP Mall, it's a dual layer shock absorbent case. So you get a TPU over TPU, it feels like to me. 
So let's see what they what they call it. They even give you a description. Dual layer, soft TPU. Oh, it says quality polycarbonate outer shell. I guess that's a polycarbonate with like some kind of a matte finish on the top. And then you get your TPU rubber inside, scratch resistant finish to maintain that attractive stylish look. You get corner buffer, buffers and raised edges. It does work out there. Tool layer protection, stylish. Precision cuts out, perfect fit, textured lining, and it's shock absorbent. Doesn't have any type of uh, military grade standard uh, certifications, but it is what it is. It's got a three, three reviews and you get a perfect five star so far. Like I said, they're giving out free stuff with the reviews, so that gives more people, you know, an app to review it with a five star, so take it for what it is. For what I like, what I see, I like, no issues there for nine bucks. It's a solid case. The only issue right there is that. If that's a big deal breaker for you, then that's gonna be a problem. You're not gonna wanna get it. To me, I guess after a few times, you would get used to it, but it, you know, if you had a couple of drinks or something, you might be hitting all sorts of buttons over there. So I, I might pass on this one just because of that. But if that's not a problem for you, this is this, it's a really solid looking case. I like it, the black on black with the blue right there just looks sharp. It does seem to take a little bit of a fingerprint right there, but I am sick right now, so who knows, my fingers and palms could be sweaty. So you get this filthy, greasy coating on there right now, but who knows, we'll see what happens. If you guys buy it, let me know down in the description how you made out with fingerprints on the back. Let's see if we can wipe them off. So it kind of leaves that little of a sheen there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm into that too much. But for nine bucks, it is what it is. It is nice looking. Maybe if you don't have that same issue and the volume rocker right there, I don't know. Overall, I'd probably give this a five out of 10. It does give you some kind of protection, even though it's not the military standard certified. It does give you protection with the lips and stuff. I don't mind it. I'll leave the link down in the description. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead. I'm just trying to give you variety and accessories for your Samsung Galaxy S9. And these also, you know, make for the S9 Plus. So they go both ways and they should fit identical for both phones because they're just different sizes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and case reviews. Plus I'll have my camera review coming up soon and I also have my one to two week review depending on when it drops. You guys will get all that, how I feel about the S9, so on and so forth. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you later. Peace.